any form of child abuse. Thirdly, love all. First John 4 verse 7. Someone can read that. And 11. Love everybody. No discrimination. Whether they are green or white, short or tall, have bone leg or gay leg. Love all children equally. First John 4 verse 7. Is born of God. God and knows God. Let's never be said. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. If we say we are God's children, one of the attributes is that we love. God is love, so we should love. Teach adults and children self protection skills. I did not mention the skills here, but there are skills you need to. I think some schools are also teaching them. What the child needs to do. The church should teach children and adults self protection skills. There are some things they can do to do what? Protect themselves. If someone sends a wrong signal, the child should be able to detect this thing this person is trying to do is wrong. I need to leave this place. The church has to teach adults and children. Use kind words on children. Our words are like stones. If they contain beauty, people treasure them. But if they contain pain, people toss them aside. After they have healed from the wounds, the words have caused. Also, let's pray earnestly for the church and for our children. The last thought: child abuse in the neighborhood. The society has a way of abusing children within our community. You can observe that common forms of abuse are neglect and physical abuse. Amen? However, if parents do not maltreat their children, we will have little or no abuse in the community. If you agree, let me see your hands up. The community is made up of families. So for abuse to be prevalent in the community, it begins from where? The family. So if the family, if families stop abusing their children, what will happen? The rate of abuse in the communities will reduce. Hallelujah. Forms in which communities abuse children. Number one, child labor. For example, four-year-old child carrying pure water to sell on this refinery road. That's child labor. Some places they will arrest you. There are other forms, I just use that. That's child labor. Allowing children to have access to corrupt information. For example, the internet. There are rules, there are some things children cannot access if they are not up to 18. But in some places here, yeah, they don't care. There are some places you cannot allow a child that is not up to 18 to even go and get alcohol or to even go and buy. But in the society where we find ourselves, it's normal. So these are the forms in which in which the community abuse children. Child marriages, we are aware of that one. Child marriages, it's a girl of 10 years getting married, 12, 13, is abusive. Cultural norms, example, value a male child over females. God created us male and female. Therefore, it is wrong to abuse a child because of gender. Hallelujah. Amen. No system to regulate or protect children against abuse. Forms in which the communities abuse children. Most times, if there are no laws guiding some issues, people tend to act anyhow. For example, if people know that if you beat a child and you break that child's arm, 
you're going to pay for the hospital fees, you're going to ensure that that child is back to normal. If, for example, 70% of, let's say, teachers or so, we are breaking children's hands in classes, it will definitely reduce because it's fast and go low. So most communities don't have things like that. If you molest a child that you're being caught, five years imprisonment, something like, you know, I'm not talking, the community now, our community, I'm not talking about the state, the community. If you do this against abuse a child, this is what happens. It's going to help to do what? Mitigate, to reduce child abuse. Amen? So because there are no systems like this, children are being abused regularly. Effects of child abuse. Now, we've talked about child abuse at home, child abuse in the society, our community, child abuse in the church. What are the effects of child abuse? Number one, insecurity and social withdrawal due to fear, guilt, or self-blame. Number two, low self-esteem. Some of those children that can't express themselves or find it hard to come and talk when others are talking, please check. If you dig further, you discover that some of them are being abused at home or at school or in the society. Increased aggressiveness towards other children. They are always angry. They always want to beat other children. Even if the child, the other child is trying to play, mm, they want to check very well. Something is wrong somewhere. Distrust of adults and difficulty forming relationships. There are some children, no matter what you tell them, they don't want to have any friends. If you like, talk from now to tomorrow. They don't want to have any, they just want to be on their own. These are some of the effects of child abuse. Permanent or physical injury or death. Some children have been abused. They are physically abused. They've been beaten to death. Some children, they fall hot water on them and damage by that organ. Some children, we, we used to see them. Some children, they fall hot oil, damage their legs, damage them. They have permanent scar on all their body. If you go online, you see what children go through. How will they explain in the future that? They didn't do anything, but hot water was poured on them, and they now have a permanent scar on their body. Self-harming or suicidal thoughts. When you abuse, remember our story. Arula ran. I had this question. She ran from the house. Her parents did not just, She can run and run to the road and get her dead and die. She can run and run into wrong hands. And whatever the person that accepts her and shows her love at that time says that's what she will do. So those are some of the effects. It's beyond just, uh, it goes further. When the child is being abused psychologically, the mind of the child is being made up about so many things in life, which they might not even tell you as their parents. Let's know that the outcome of abuse can be evident in the behaviors of children and not evident in their behaviors. That is, you can see some, some you cannot see. Some children, they can put things in them. No matter how you ask, they will not open their mouth and tell you. So let's, let's note that. Some children might even be abused in our church and we don't know. If you like ask for an attitude tomorrow, they, you won't know. So one some of the ways we can mitigate child abuse, let's enlighten the children. This is one way. The church is being enlightened now. Let's strengthen legislation to do what? Protect children, laws to protect children. Psychological support. Parents, your children need you. It's good you're providing clothes and food for them. Why don't? But psychologically, they need you. It's your brain and mind that that way you're not seeing. They need you. When they fail and they run and come and meet you, support them. Whatever you tell them, we build them up or we destroy them. Before it gets to the society, when they pass and they come and meet you, support them. Amen. Social welfare, 
justice services and child protection services. Also, teach your children the truth. How to mitigate child abuse. Let your child know the truth. We're talking about total freedom in Christ. If they know the truth, the truth will do what? Set them free. Teach them the truth. As children, let them know the truth on time. Pray and act right. That's the last thing. Pray and act right. It's not just about praying. Your actions should also, children, see them outside here. They are not hearing anything. It's just that thing on the TV there. And maybe their teacher is doing like this. We ask them the topic that they don't know. But whatever their children explain, either through a dance, that is the one that we go home and tell their parents. As you are praying for your child, let your actions show. Amen. Conclusion. The human race tends to remember the abuses to which it has been subjected to rather than endearment. It is therefore expedient that we live with caution not to cause harm through our world deeds because wound leaves scars. Amen. More so, every child deserves an abuse-free life. Tell your neighbor, every child deserves an abuse-free life. Amen. Amen. Give your neighbor a high five. Any question? Any question? Okay. Can we close our eyes as we pray? Can we rise up now?